Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add content to the pages that you've just created. Anytime you add content to your PowerSchool Learning page, we suggest using this Add Content Block button. While there are other options up here, it is easiest to use this block to make sure that you can share, replicate, copy, or move the activity easily. So I'm going to begin by hitting the Add Content Block button. On the first tab, you'll see the word content. This is where you can think of anything that you'd like students to just learn or gather information from. The first one is on-page text. On-page text allows you to type directly onto the page. So, hello, how are you? Okay. Every block must have a title. You could format this however you'd like using different fonts, tables, you can create links or other tools within here. If you do not see these buttons, please select the More button and you will see all of the options to edit this block. This is the easiest and quickest way to get information directly to your students. When I hit the Add Content block again, the other options on this tab are adding files. So if you have something saved on your OneDrive or Google Drive and you want students to be able to click it, you can select Files. Web Links creates a link of hyperlinked sites that kids could go to. Images, it allows you to select several images from your camera roll for students to look through. Perhaps images that you have taken this year in your classroom, you might want to put on your page if you have media releases for all students. YouTube is a very great one to have because this will actually embed a video directly onto your page so students do not have to go to YouTube. You'll simply make sure it's clicked embedded and then copy and paste the link that you have into that location. Finally, on this site is the option for Google Drive. By choosing Google Drive in this content block, you will embed a document that you have created directly onto your page. So by picking from your Google Drive, for example, I can choose anything that I've worked on, such as my Google Slides training, select, put next. And now when this content block is created, students will see my slideshow right on their page without having to download or preview any content by clicking a link. It's right there for them. Finally, a calendar might be helpful. I would suggest using the mini calendar, and then you can add upcoming activities to your class, such as if you want to do a class Zoom or a class Meet or something else to allow students to interact with you, you could put it on your calendar. Finally, the last tab has announcements that you can make to your class, and then interactive components that you could use to help engage your students in learning. I'm going to discuss these components in the next video, but I want you to make you aware that those are there. That is how you add content to your page.